All right, I'm going to be trying out the She's having a grand old time. What's up, guys? It's Amber from the Ramp Ramp the Chitsons. And it's a busy day in the household today. Um, can you hear my family in the background? Uh, do me a favor. If you like what we do, please go down there and like the video, subscribe. And ring the little notification bell that's down there so you don't ever miss any of the videos that we post. So a couple of weeks ago, I posted a short about this pot here. And it can't, I don't know if you can tell still, but this pot fell. And you can tell that the handle kind of got twisted up. And this part of the pot got dented. Now, I was able to kind of pull it back into kind of place but made a video about this particular brand time and table um, and uh, tagged them in it and I got an interesting response on uh, Instagram I'll put the little thing up on one of these edges or whatever so they saw my video and I'm no way sponsored by Time and Table um, at all. We're a really small YouTube channel, so we're not sponsored by anybody. You guys are our biggest sponsors, but uh, they sent me something in the mail after they saw what happened to this cookware, which I've had for maybe a year or less, not very long. Um, it was a replacement to the Rachel Ray cook set that I got when we got married, which I had had forever, but it got ruined. So now this is what I have. And I was so heartbroken that this pan dented because I was used to stainless steel, um, you know, cast iron, that sort of thing, which, I mean, you can hammer nails in with some of the cookware that I used to have. So let me show you what they sent us. All right. Uh, this is what they sent us. Try Fly Cookware. This is a durable stainless steel set. So three stainless steel pots with lids and two non-stick pans with the little uh, bumpers to go in between in between them get you guys closer in here on this so this is what they sent us there's a QR code down here Eat. Oh, all right. Oh, so put this back a little bit. The first thing that I noticed when I opened this, I took this. This is just one pan that I took out. The heft of this pan, just the the sheer weight of this thing amazing one sec so here is the pan from the previous set that match match the pot right we got gold hardware right totally solid bottom it's the same way you can tell that I've cooked a number of meals on this well used right I like the way it cooks I like the way it heats right so this is the this is the old one but if I'm holding them side by side this one is considerably heavier so we take a look here on the back this one's got these grooves here right 
this smaller bottom of the pan, right? There's not as much metal on this one. So these are to help it heat evenly. Not an uncommon practice for a lot of cookware. I like it. Like I said, I like the way these things cook. I would have no problem with the way these things cook. You can tell this one, stainless steel, right, on the bottom. So there's none of those ridges or patterning here. Um, and it is thicker here on the sides, so the bevels, I guess you would call it. This girl is thick, okay, and just solid. Like, this is a solid. The handle is also much bigger. If we take a look, this one's got this handle as an indention here. And this one does not. This one is a full, solid piece of metal there. Uh, no indention for the thumb. I kind of like that indention. I kind of like this design feature when you're holding the pan. But if you have a heavier pan, that little thumb indention would not work. Yeah, she's thick. So this is what I was waiting for, was this bad boy. Back in here. So this is the soft spot. Again, much heavier compared. Don't get me wrong. This is not a very light pan, right? It's got a decent weight to it. And again, I like the way this one cooks, right? It's got that ribbing on the bottom. But you notice just a heftier, much heavier Pan. It's stainless steel, right? It's not going to heat the same way as these nonstick ones. You've got to know how to cook in a stainless steel pan, right? You can't just put them on, throw something in. you got to get stainless steel hot, hot before it's ready. But stainless steel will be just as nonstick as these with the coating if you know how to cook from them. Thankfully, my first cook set was stainless steel. So I already know how to cook on that. And that's the one that my mom has. I gift that to her when I got these to replace it. But this is definitely a hefty, hefty cookware. Like this one, I feel like I could throw against the wall and would be just fine. This is the kind of material that you would expect to see in a professional kitchen or somebody who does cooking a lot, which I guess maybe I should have done instead of going for this one. But again, I like the aesthetic of these. Those gold handles are super nice. I like the gold flecking in here on the nonstick part, but I got four dogs and a toddler and also a wife. And this is probably going to stand the test of time against them. Again, again these bevels are super thick, just thick metal. See what else we got. A couple of lids. I like the clear lids. Not bad. Uh, here's something I don't know. We got these in the last box. Now, I don't know anybody out there who actually uses these things. You're supposed to put them in between the pot before you put something else in it. And honestly, I don't stack my pots and pans when they're inside one another like that, so I don't need that. But I guess it's nice to have if you're a savage and you just stack your pots and pans on top of one another. Go do yourself a favor and get one of those things where you can put your pans in instead of just stacking them on one another. It's going to ruin that Teflon coating. I'm guessing most of you probably cook with Teflon pans. They're Teflon coated or copper coated. It's going to ruin that. Don't ever use metal on those things either. Put another lid here. Not bad. Fits perfectly. All right. Uh, yay. Nice little breakfast skillet. Again, no, no cladding here on the bottom, no uh, material here on the bottom to help it cook evenly. Stainless steel is just going to cook evenly because of the way that it's made. But again, this is a sizable difference between the other one in weight alone, right? So here they are side by side. This one has a little bit more steeper sides. You can tell this one rounds off. At the edge there. That's right, baby. But again, pretty solid pan. I know. You like the new pans? My one-year-old approves. 
Should be two more in here. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. So this is where this differs a little bit than the other the other set that I have. So this one comes with two saucepans. Definitely heavy duty. So in the last one that we got, we had this high-sided saucepan skillet. And then we had this small saucepan. So these are about the same, heavier for sure. This one's a little bit bigger, but instead of a high-sided frying pan, we got a bigger saucepan. That's nice. I like it. So there you have the official unboxing of the stainless steel time and table cookware 12 piece set. Now we just have to cook something with it. So we'll see how this stainless steel stands up to cooking. We've got a gas stove. I prefer gas over electric or induction, just preference. So I guess a little bit later tonight, I'll need to cook something up, so we'll have to go to the grocery store, get some food. I guess maybe we should pause this video here until I can actually cook on some, cook in some of these. But you know how I feel about the difference. The handle clearance is definitely much higher. Tell these handles. See that handle clearance is way higher on these. I like that. That's a great design feature. I like that high handle, you know, my knuckles hit on this. So just comparatively here, a couple of positive takeaways. These are definitely more heavy duty. Absolutely. I feel like they are going to be able to withstand our crazy lifestyle. Um, and yeah, they're just, they just feel so much more solid. These handles on the top of the lids, probably one of my favorite features compared to the other ones. The only thing I had to draw back is these pans, right? these frying pans don't look like they match these saucepans and stock pot. They don't look like they're a set, but they are. I'm, I'm mad about it too. The other drawback here is instead of this saw this i think is a, a couple of quart saucepan instead of this one i would have preferred to have the high rise frying pan that had a lid on it i feel like i used that one a little bit more than i would a uh, saucepan like this this one is pretty much good for anything that i need it's not going to fit in is this is too big for this size does just fine for our family i feel like the high rise frying pan with the lid that goes on it like that. I feel like that one, I know. I feel like the high rise frying pan is just one that's a little bit more versatile. Now, my wife does some cooking as well. And we're a fan of those one bag pasta meals that you just throw into the frying pan. Well, this may not be big enough. And that high rise frying pan is perfect for stuff like that. I know it. Anyways. So we'll cut the video here until I need to cook something and we'll pick right back up and actually see how this cookware works in real time. All right, I'm going to be trying out the new pan tonight. I'm gonna to be cooking some um, spicy shrimp. We're gonna have over rice, tater tots are for the baby who's eating right now. So let's see what this uh, stainless steel bad boy can do. Let's test it out. There's the shrimp. We're gonna toss them in a sauce afterwards as well. All right, so right now I'm just getting this pan hot. It's on high heat. So we're, shrimp's not gonna take very much time at all. We're gonna saute a little bit of spring onion in here first and serve it over cilantro lime rice. So we're just getting this pan real nice and hot. It's gonna take a second because the bottom of this pan is thick. Stay in the still. All right, got some oil on the pan. Got these spring onions we're going to saute for just a minute. All right, 
got a shrimp in, and I normally would do these in batches, but I'm just wanting to get the meal cooked at this point. So we're just gonna put them all in here. They aren't gonna take any time to cook up at all. Pan's nice and hot, they're nice and seasoned, and then we'll toss them in some sauce, serve them over cilantro lime rice. So I literally just rinsed this with water and you can tell it's pretty non-stick, pretty clean. So I'll hit it with just a little bit of soap and water and a sponge just to get the oil off of it. But it cleaned up extremely easy and this pan heated up quickly, real, real quick. It heated up and evenly, it cooked the shrimp real nice. Here's our shrimp. We're about to toss in some sauce. All right, they've been dressed, sauced. Let's make our cilantro lime rice real quick. All right, so got my rice. I'm just gonna hand chop full, hand full of chopped cilantro. And I got some lime here that we're gonna put in there and just mix it all up with a little bit of salt. There you go, finished product. Little cashews, green onion on top. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, so my initial review of the stainless steel timing table skillet, pretty legit. And I kind of expected that because the ones that I have previously were also pretty good, but it does have more heft to it. It's way more heavy duty, more sturdy. Um, like I said, our household's got four dogs and a toddler. That's my wife. So who knows what's gonna happen to these things. I think the real test though is when we check out that stock pot. So I'm gonna make some beans, some Indian style beans for later. We'll see how the stock pot works out. And then we'll give a thumbs up or thumbs down to the new time and table stainless steelware. All right, moment of truth. So I got the big stock pot out here. This is the one that on the other set I dropped. So I've got it heating up, high heat. Pro tip about stainless steel, get it hot, 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 hot before you put anything in it. That makes it non-stick. All right, so we've got onions in here and some olive oil. I toasted up a couple of spices in this pan, dry. There they are right there. We're gonna do tomatoes and beans, and tomato paste with this garlic and ginger, served with some cream, cashews, some cilantro. That'll be a whole meal. That'll feed us all week. So I got this pot ripping hot before I put anything in it. And as you can tell from the mixing, there's nothing sticking to the bottom because you have to get stainless steel hot. That's what makes it non-stick. If you're just throwing your food onto a stainless steel pan as it's heating up, it's gonna stick every single time. So trust me on preheating your stainless steel. Get it hot, hot, then bring the temperature down and you're ready to cook. All right, so there's all of our ingredients. Toasted spices, tomatoes, tomato paste, garlic, ginger, purple onion, blended up with kidney beans in it. We're gonna let it simmer to soak up all those flavors. Let's simmer it for about 20 minutes and then we'll just top it with some cilantro and cream, a couple of cashews, eat it with some sliced toast. Super good. I'm impressed by the way that it's performed, this pot. Uh, no stick, heated it up, everything was good, nothing stuck to the bottom. Um, it, again, it's super hefty, definitely heavier than its counterpart. But uh, so far, impressed. The stainless steel series is where it's at. All right, so there's the finished product. That's not caked on by any means. I just put the leftovers in a dish. You can see nothing caked on the bottom, nothing burnt on the bottom. I simmered a whole pot of beans in here with spices and all sorts of stuff. So thumbs up there. All right, major takeaways. Stainless steel, I'm a fan. My first cooking set was stainless steel, so I'm a fan of 
the stainless steel. It's not for everybody. I do like the pans being coated with nonstick on top of being stainless steel. That's a plus. These are definitely hefty. I think the number one thing that I like on these pots and pans is these lids right here. The clearance height between the lid and the handle makes it much easier to be able to grab, even from the ones that I had the other set of time and tables. So I wanna say big thank you to time and table for sending us this set of cookware. It will definitely be well loved. And yeah, um, we're not sponsored by any means, but I just wanted to go ahead and put the you know word out there like, Listen, if you're going to be hard on your pots and pans, maybe go with the stainless steel ones instead. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. Enjoy some of my beans. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, life is about the journey and not the destination. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.